Um, good afternoon, teachers, parents, grandparents, um, and my friends. Um, I'm about to begin my 10-minute speech, but first, let me take a selfie. With the class of 2014. I promised myself my speech would not be cliché, but I genuinely cannot believe that we have come this far, that we are graduating today. That might be partly because I'm still sleep deprived from the two years of IV, but nonetheless, um, it's hard to believe that we've, our school lives have come to an end. I remember when I first joined St. Andrews five years ago. I fit in impeccably, and I remember thinking to myself that that was largely because of the year group I was a part of. The way I was welcomed was not as Holden Caulfield would say, phony, but it was like I was a pathogen being engulfed by the macrophage that is the class of 2014. <laughs> and now I'm a part of their membrane. <laughs> I grew integrated into this membrane. I have seen this class grow and grown with them through all their phases. We went from being trying to be sporty during lunch times to reading Harry Potter by the lockers to taking power naps in the common room. This itself shows you the detrimental effects of IV. Um, um, note to audiences, if consulted with extreme lethargy and constant feelings of tiredness, please visit a bed you've been diagnosed with IV. <laughs> um, we had our uphill moments throughout the course of IV, but we've also had them together as a year group. And during these moments, I realized that we are a class with the loudest voice. Most of it stemming from Adi, but <laughs> metaphorically as well. Um, everyone in, the, in this class is opinionated though not always with the right opinion, and driven by a passion of their own. We're like the Lannisters, minus the incest. Because look at us and tell us our house motto is not, hear me roar. You can only imagine the arguments we got into when one roared louder than the other. Despite our quarrels, though, we have always stuck together and supported each other like the dysfunctional family we have become. We have grown into a supportive, assertive, and defensive bunch. As to quote Tarantino quoting the Bible, I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. On various occasions, we've, we have stood up for each other, or rather, sat in silence so the other one doesn't get into trouble, <laughs> and support each other like with maintaining our solidarity. I want to take a moment to let the class of 2014 know that you were the only class that I did not dislike, entirely at least. Um, no, but honestly, I could not have asked for a better year group to have struggled through IV with. Um, in the wise words of Mussolini, we've been at war, the war of work. It has been a struggle, a never-ending fight. And I say to you today, and you will understand, it has been a privilege to fight. We are warriors. I quote Mussolini today, not because of, the in, not because of my inexplicable love for dictators, but because a socialist once referred to Mussolini as a phenomenal rabbit, a rabbit, who he roars. I find this perfectly descriptive of our class because on the outside we may appear as fierce as warriors, but on the inside we're that class that has a coordinated dance to Arctic Monkey's song. <laughs> but we wouldn't have made it here today without the war training provided to us by our teachers. Because without them, we would not have learned how to mold our extensive knowledge and fit it into the guidelines of the IV criteria. Of course, this is not all we took from the duration of IV. We have also learned how to write 4,000 essays within one night, link our cash reflections to starving kids in Africa, and, of course, question our entire existence, because what is knowledge? How do I know I know what is knowledge? Am I thinking about my thinking about my thinking? Sorry, I digress. Nonetheless, Truly, without the support and tolerance of my teachers, I would not have made it thus far. So thank you, G-Dog, for being our positive big brother figure. Except you can two minutes hate, of course. Um, thank you, Mr. Rich, for being my biology best friend, and not always shouting at me for dancing in lessons. Thank you, Mr. Simon, for believing that I will not turn out to be a psychopath. <laughs> thank you, Miss Kate and Miss Alex, for trusting in my absurd ideas and making me face my fears, aka the DT room. <laughs> um, thank you, Mr. Rue, for making me love TOK. May the talk be with us. 
Um, and thank you to all the other teachers for walking us through IB and making us Dumbledore's army. Maybe, hopefully, we will be successful in our quest for the seven Horcruxes. And of course, I would like to thank the parents, mom, dad, <laughs> because without them, we would literally not be here today. <laughs> I also want to take a moment to remember Allie. She isn't here with us today, but remains with us and will always be a part of our class. As for one, what comes next? In the words of John Hodge, we must choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose a big television, choose washing machines, choose cars, compact disc players, electrical tin openers, choose good health, low cholesterol and dental insurance, choose fixed interest mortgage payments, choose a star home, choose your friends, choose leisure wear and matching luggage, choose a three-piece suit on higher purchase in a range of fabrics, choose DIY and wondering who you are on a Sunday morning, Choose sitting on that couch watching mind-numbing, spirit-crushing TV shows, stuffing junk food into your mouth. Choose your future. Choose life. Thank you.